Hey everybody, Patrick here. I am really excited to be here today because I got a lot to tell you. I'm gonna try to talk fast because if I don't talk fast, this is gonna take a long time. But I'm here to show you our all new products that we're launching today. And um, if I can get some time in, I'm gonna get a quick uh, shave to show you how they work. So a few things, let me set up some context real quick. We launched the Single Edge, our original razor, over, uh, it was about six years ago. We relaunched it as the 2.0 about four years ago. And in that time frame, I have read literally, I'm, I'm not making this up, every single review that's come through our website, um, pretty much every single comment that comes through on social media. I've read all of your feedback and I've, over the years, um, slowly turn that feedback into what is now our kind of next generation of products. So we're, we're proud to introduce a couple new products. Uh, one is the Single Edge SE, and that's the matte black version right there. And the other is the Single Edge Pro, and this is our mirror polish version right there. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about each one. So here, here's what I heard my customers say over the past four, five, six years. They loved the way our razor was easy to use. It was a high quality product. It gave a super smooth shave, uh, but they wanted some improvement. So one thing is most of our customers are coming over from multi-blades and they wanted less nicks and less, nut, less cuts. So that was one of the things. They wanted easier adjustability between settings for those that wanted adjustability. They wanted sharper blades and they wanted a better price point. So I've taken all of that feedback and I've rolled it, rolled it into these two products. Um, I'm really proud of the SE. This is really an industry first. Um, you s the first thing you'll notice that's different is obviously what we're calling our Nick Stop Fins. Now, you may think you've seen something like this before, but that's not true at all. Some of you have seen what's called an open comb double-edged safety razor, and it has something that looks similar right there, but there's a very, very big difference. Open comb razors, or even, you can't really see, but like this one's got like little tiny scallops on it. Um, those are all, um, they actually make the shave, usually most designs make the shave more aggressive and more dangerous. So a lot of people won't even touch open comb razors because they're really hard to use and you can really cut yourself badly with them. The opposite is true of our SE design. These fins, as far as I know, this is an industry first. I could be wrong, there could be another razor I'm not aware of that does this. But what these fins do is they actually, instead of making the razor more aggressive, they make it more safe to use. And what's really important to know is um, what causes nicks and cuts when you're shaving. And what causes them is your hair, excuse me, your skin getting trapped underneath the blade, between the blade and the bar while you're shaving. This is true of a lot of safety razors. It can also be true of cartridge razors. And so what we've done is we've designed these fins so that they are positioned properly to keep your, your skin out from the blade's path but allow hair to pass through and shave cleanly. So it's both a mild and an aggressive razor. It's mild in that it feels mild. It's a very safe, um, comfortable shaving experience, uh, but it's also a very close shave. So it's aggressive in the fact that it shaves extremely closely. Um, it doesn't shave underneath the skin like multi-blade razors do with causing irritation and ingrown hairs, but it shaves very closely. So don't think of this as a razor that doesn't shave closely because it does. So that's the SE. Um, it comes with uh, our, our signature chrome, PVD over chrome construction, so physical vapor deposition, very durable coating. Most razor companies don't use that coating. Um, and uh, uh, die cast zinc construction. Uh, and then our Pro. This sucker is really excited. Both of these, I can't tell you which one I'm more excited about because it's hard to pick. It's like picking your favorite child. So our Pro takes the same adjustability that our previous 2.0, excuse me, had. And so in the 2.0, if you're familiar with it, you would unscrew the screw right here and swap out settings. With the Pro instead, with just a flick of a thumb, you're changing the setting. So in my opinion, maybe this is subjective, but in my opinion, this is the easiest adjustable razor on the market. Now, you know, it's, uh, is it really all that easier than turning the base plate? Um, some of them you have to turn here and they get stuck a lot. I don't know, me, I think that's just really, really, really cool. So really excited about that. With the flick of a thumb, you change your setting. And um, so some people ask, why would I want different settings for my razor? Well, the, the short answer is different strokes for different folks. 
and some people want a really more sensitive setting. Myself, I have sensitive skin. It's why I started this company and designed this razor. Um, and so I want a really mild setting because I don't want, um, because I'm prone to irritation if the razor is too aggressive. Some people, they don't have that problem. And they have coarse skin, excuse me, coarse hair. They have thick skin and they just need to mow that hair down. Or if you have a longer beard like I have now, you want a more aggressive setting. And the great thing about our dial is, we're calling that our shave dial right there. It's, I don't know if you can hear it, but it clicks. And we've got six main settings and 30, what we're calling micro settings. And so you can really, uh, we did the math yesterday, the adjustability between the micro settings, if I remember right, is 0.01 millimeters, excuse me, 0.03 millimeters, which is a third the width of a human hair. So each click changes the setting, a third the width of a human hair. Really, really proud of the, the, um, our engineering team for uh, putting together that design. It's a really impressive design that I'm really excited about. So that's the Pro. Uh, the SE comes in our classic matte and our matte black uh, polishes, excuse me, uh, finishes. Um, and then the Pro comes in a, an ad additional two finishes, mirror polish and then jet black. This one's jet black. Um, this one's actually fun little um, behind the scenes. This one's actually a disassembled version. Um, we have a new stand for both of these, um, SE stand, excuse me, the Pro stand, the SE stand. Um, and so those keep your razor, stores nicely, keeps your blades high and dry. Um, another thing we heard from our customers was they want, some of them, not everybody, but some of them, especially those that like to use the razor in the shower, wanted more grip. So we're really excited to introduce our grip sleeve. Um, this is a silicone sleeve that fits over the razor. This is a, everything I'm showing you is pre-production prototype versions. You can, I don't even mention, this one's got a sticker on the back. Um, T3, that means that's a T3 sample, our third production sample. Um, and this silicone sleeve, it's a little loose right now, so it slides on and off. Um, in production, it'll actually be a lot tighter and it'll be a little hard to get on, but once it's on there, it's, it's pretty much on there. Of course, you can still get it off, but it's pretty solid on there. Um, and so we have a, a grip sleeve for the Pro and for the SE. They're, they're slightly different designs. We actually haven't completed the design for the SE. Um, so I'm almost embarrassed to show you this version because it's actually, I think, pretty ugly. But it gives you a little bit of an idea. There's going to be a silver version too. It's got this, this one's got this texture on the back that's not going to be in the final version. Um, but it really gives a lot of grip to the razor if that's something you want more of. So that comes in the uh, silver and black as well. Uh, I think black looks great on both finishes, but if you want your finish to match your grip, we got that. And then last, but definitely not least, for over two years I've been working with one of the world's uh, most premier blade manufacturers uh, based in Japan to make uh, an all new line of blades for us. And um, we're calling them our black label blades. And if you're familiar with our razors, they accept non-proprietary injector blades. So these blades were invented by Schick, Colonel Jacob Schick, in the early 1900s. Um, and they're still in production today. Schick still makes them. Um, a couple other brands make them. And now we are proud to introduce our own brand that you can only get from us. Um, and so we're gonna offer these in addition to the current blades that we offer, which we're also proud of. They're made in America. We're gonna call them our white label blades. They're actually made in the only uh, remaining safety razor blade production facility left in the United States. Um, ask anybody else if they can say that about their blades. So we've got our American blades. We're calling those our white label. Um, our Japanese blades, we're calling those our black label. So you can really choose. And really it's just kind of a preference thing. You, you, I, I, I encourage everybody to try each and figure out which one they like the best. But today I'll be shaving with the, our black label blades. Uh, that's enough of a warm up. I'll probably talk a little more as we shave. I've got, today is, it has been a couple weeks getting ready for this launch. So I forgot a mirror. So I'm gonna shave here in my, um, my, my camera phone, my phone. And I'm actually taking footage, so maybe I'll use this footage in the video as well. Got some shaving cream here. I have way too much. Um, so let's see what happens. Let's lather up and shave. Yeah, this might work. Actually, it's going to be extremely difficult, but we will make do. So that was way too much shaving cream. Um, and then I got my little bowl right here. 
Uh, That's good enough for now. Don't critique me for my shaving cream. I'm looking in a phone. So I'm gonna, this, this should be fun. I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna do half my face with Yessi and half with the Pro. I'm actually going to use a pre-production non-polished version for the SE um, because this is actually our functional version and the others are just aesthetic versions. Oh gosh, I didn't even mention, we're also introducing our uh, solid aluminum CNC uh, brush handle. And really excited about that. I would use this, but surprise, it's actually not fully assembled. It's just a um, aesthetic version. This is our only version we have. It'll come in matte black and, um, and silver as well to match the razor finish. I'm really excited about that. Um, but let's get shaving. So we'll start the SE on this side. I don't know if you noticed, I had a pretty, I mean, not a long beard, but a decent enough beard to where I wanted to show you that this razor can mow down a pretty solid beard. It may take a couple extra kind of swipes to get that hair down, but let's do it. I'm so proud of this razor. Uh, I don't know, y'all can probably see, I got it on 4K, I'll zoom in. Um, let's just keep going. Oh, I didn't even tell you, um, the angle, if you've never used this razor before to hold it, very simple, you just place it flat, um, little, little um, let's get zoomed in here. The, um, the head of the razor just flat against your skin and just swipe it away. Um, really, you're letting the razor do the work And you can see that razor just knocks down the hair. Let's see. So the SE, um, again, I'm really, it's hard to say which one I'm most proud of. Personally, I have sensitive skin, like I said, and so I'm actually really, really excited about the SE. It's the one that I use the most, personally. Um, but the Pro, we're calling it the Pro because we think our you know, most seasoned uh, shaving enthusiast will really enjoy the Pro a lot. It has a lot of custom, customization in it and it's just a really high quality, really high engineered product. I started working on it really almost two years ago and um, it took us a long time to really, I've got another video uh, where I talk through the um, kind of the engineering challenges, but I think what I would say is if you've used safety razors before and you've never, including our razor or any double edge razor, and you've never really got along with them because you felt they were too aggressive or they nicked you too much. I mean, I'm pretty much done. It's hard to see with the light. They nick you too much, or you're shaving really anything on your body. So other than your face, you're shaving your uh, legs, your your um, head, anything else. I'd say the SE is for you. Um, if you've used safety razors before, you love safety razors, you're familiar with using them, um, then our Pro is going to be. For, and, you, and you enjoy the customization, the ability to change your shave setting, especially in the middle of your shave. The Pro is definitely going to be for you. Now, I might have missed a spot. It's hard to see in the light right now, but we're going to go ahead and I'm basically done with that half of my face. I could come, I went with the grain and it's, it's a, there's a, maybe a little bit of stubble left, but most of it's pretty much gone. And um, so I'm going to switch to the pro on the other side. Ooh, I'm using the wrong one. I want to use this sample, our T3 sample. Apologies for the sticker on the back. Uh, and I'm going to crank it all the way down to one. Um, I might actually, you know what? Let's crank it up to like two and a half because my beard is a little bit longer. And let's see. Oh man, this is gonna be tough to see. So yeah, if you like safety razors, if you're a current user of our 2.0, or if you've used other double-edged safety razors and you feel comfortable with the technique, um, I'm not saying it's a hard razor to use, it's an extremely easy razor to use, but we found that 
And this is really what I wanted when I first started the company. We found that um, a lot of our customers are coming over from multi-blade razors. And there's a little bit, this is the thing that nobody tells you about. So this is the dirty secret of safety razors. Nobody talks about the fact that, well, they're not really safe. And there's a little bit of a learning curve to using them. Now, I've been using them for a long time, four years. No, way longer than that. I started this company six years ago. So I've been using safety razors for eight or nine years. So I'm familiar with how to use them. Uh, and I enjoy using them, but not everybody's willing to kind of take the time to learn how to use them. Um, so that's why I think the SE is perfect for like first time. We say for the first, for the single blade curious, the SE is the product for them. And for the single blade enthusiasts, uh, the Pro is for them. So. And I'm pretty much, it's really hard to see. I think I missed a spot there. Next time I'll bring a mirror. That's pretty much it. I cranked up in the middle. I cranked it down to one because that's what I like. But some of y'all, I know because you tell me, are going to crank it all the way up to six. That's pretty much it. Um, I shave with the grain. I don't go against the grain usually. Sometimes I will on my cheeks. And that's pretty much it. I got a clean shave. Let me uh, rinse off real quick and uh, come back and show you. So I think that's it. I got it all. I know that was easy. That was fast. Um, it was quick, but hopefully that was helpful. This is the Pro that um, I used on the left side of my face. This is the SE that I used on the right side of my face. And I got a fantastic shave on both sides. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, shoot them to us. Otherwise, happy shaving. Have a great day.